This event has been organized, funded, and coordinated by the churches of Kenya. The church is the organizer. We are paying the bill. Ben Hinn is an American evangelist, teacher, and author of best-selling books. He has impacted the world for more than five decades with the life-saving and miracle-working messages of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He returns to Kenya after being here for, uh, two decades ago, and we, the churches of Kenya, are privileged to host him. The steering committee is working with the key stakeholders to host over 60,000 Kenyans and international guests from over 20 countries. We have partnered with Homeboys Entertainment, Kenya's leading events, media, and public relations management company, among others, on the ground handling and logistics for the mega crusade. I want to assure the public that the Steering Committee is fully committed to ensuring the success of this crusade and upholding the highest standards of integrity and transparency. We have worked tirelessly to coordinate the event with the utmost respect for all involved parties. This event has been organized, funded, and coordinated by the churches of Kenya, which include both mainstream churches and the evangelical churches in Kenya, with the aim of connecting the body of Christ in Kenya with the global body of Christ. It is common uh, ministry practice for faith leaders from outside Kenya to visit the country and for our Kenyan faith leaders to receive invitations to minister in other countries to enable the close pollination of grace and effective engagement of the fivefold ministry. Now, the government of Kenya is for all of us, and therefore, we are all involved, except that the church is the organizer. We are paying the bill because God has blessed this nation, and we want everyone to feel welcome. Everyone, every sector, all denominations, all faiths, welcome. This is another new open heaven for the country of Kenya, yet big things are ahead of us. The issue of budget, of course, uh, we are finalizing our budgets, and so we may not bring it out here. The media houses, we shall be communicating to us because we are finalizing with a number of them that we are, have approached. Of course, most of our Christian media houses will be doing it, and also uh, a number of you, we have already talked to your leaders about this so we shall be bringing that later uh, especially later in this this week after we have finalized with most of the media houses and done some contracts so we shall be bringing that economically there are over 20 uh, countries of the world that are going to congregate here in Nairobi and as they come our hotel industry I believe we are going to have all our hotels booked by the guests who are coming. Now that is very good for us. It is going to bring money in our pockets. And as we need this money at a time such as this, that opportunity is a great opportunity to be able to tap into. The matatu industry, they will ferry people. Uh, we can eat things around and in our hotels and it is all going to generate funds. Then the third facet is, is the spiritual component. Benihin is going to come and pray for people in Kenya. Pray for the sick to receive healing. Pray for the people who are backslidden to come forward. We would love to see our churches today being filled to overflowing with people. And we are believing that his coming will be a spiritual healing mm. for our nation at a time such as this.